Welcome back to Daytime. Coming up this June, you're invited to take in a locally produced production that will celebrate Canada's 150th. It is called Secret at Woodside, but before the production happens, we need to find a lead character. We're going to talk to the playwright, producer, director of Secret at Woodside. This is Stephen Young about the search for Mackenzie King. Welcome to the show. Hey, good to be here again. Listen, you're a busy guy. You're doing a lot of writing. Last time we talked to you, you were writing a production, or it had just finished a production that was going to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the change of the name Berlin to Kitchener. That's correct. And now you're putting on a special production for Canada's 150th called The Secret at Woodside. Tell us, first of all, just a little bit about the story, synopsis of it. Well, first of all, I had never anticipated even writing this play. Uh, I stumbled upon some stories uh, when I was doing At the Crossroads, and I learned some things about Woodside, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. And then I learned a few other things that where Mackenzie King would say, uh, really Berlin at that time, Bader Kitchener, that my life at Woodside, and that I always look back to that because that affected me as prime minister. I went, oh, that's an interesting statement. Yet, although, and I had spent five months researching, reading every book there was, trying to find more about this boyhood, and there's very little on it. Just little snippets. I thought, oh, geez, what, 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 there's, and, but interesting snippets. Lots on him as an adult, of course, like from university on, but very little as, as boyhood, which he claims that he says, oh, that's what, that's what they, you know, kept me in politics, blah, blah. So as a writer then, does that allow your mind to kind of go wild, come up with the stories, come up with the, well, maybe it was this, perhaps it was this, and, and, and create? Uh, a sort of a storyline that may have influenced him? I tackled my writing differently than I've ever done before. Uh, uh, a friend of mine um, said, you should use Scrivener. It's a great thing. It has little post-it notes. And you can... So as I'm looking and learning things, I go, oh, that's interesting. That's... I want to portray what life was like in 1891. He's 16 years old. He's just finished from in high school, now today KCI, and he's going to move on to University of Toronto. So his life's changing. He's leaving his beloved West Woodside. So I wanted to show what life was like in, in 1891, all the different things that happened with the King family itself. And so I would just take snippets and go, oh, that's a great idea. Oh, they played croquet. And I, put that. And I just kept <laughs> slamming things in that I wanted to, to put in there. It was more historical in nature. And at that point, there wasn't any mystery. I like to put a little mystery with the history because if you just do the straight history, historians, they're fine. But it's, I want to get more people involved and learn about our history in a fun sort of way. So I thought, I don't know where I'm going to go with this, but let's just keep going. Of course, later in life, Mackenzie King, uh, he did, imagine doing a diary every day, and, and when you pass away, all your diary books were exposed to the general <laughs> public and read everything you ever... It's incredible. And of course, they found out he did seances. Mm -hmm. He did all kinds of spiritualism. And of course, they, they really made that into a big deal. You know, they made him, some people want to make him into a nutcase because he did all this. But it was very common to have uh, seances and fortune tellers. And it, right. was a, it was still the day and age, of, prior to that in, in his youth, was the day and age of Houdini running around trying to expose these fortune tellers. And that. So I, I did some research and I found that, 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 um, that when they had parties, which was a big thing, Mrs. King, Isabel would love to have these grand parties and have all the elites from, from the area in there. But they, it was common to have a fortune teller there or a phrenologist would check the bumps in your head. That was kind of a fun part of the party. I thought, okay, that's good, but you know, I decided I wanted to have a seance in the show because I thought, as a, as, a, as a theatrical thing, wouldn't that be a lot of fun? Right. So, but I hadn't really got to the point to find out, and then when I found the ultimate book, which was thanks to Parks Canada, it was mentioned, oh yeah, she used to have fortune telling parties with a certain group of friends, and I went, oh, then it very well could have had a, had a seance. So that kind of gets things going. But the big thing was I find the things about Mackenzie because he was noted as being the kids at school called him a rebel. Not because of his, his uh, grandfather, who of course was a rebel, <laughs> but he's just that kind of kid. He's always getting in trouble. And he was, it wasn't that he wasn't clever. I think he got bored a lot. And, and uh, anything he'd written on says, oh, he used to tie girls, pick you know, tails together. And he used to do all these awful, hope. he used to steal apples. So I thought, yeah, a lot of kids did this kind of stuff as, as a kid, right? So, uh, but I wanted to know more about well, okay, that's fine. And, and, they, and then they said, they like to focus on all the bad things. And I want to see some of the good things he did, too. Like, well, what, what was it? Well, he, he was brought up with uh, Germans and Mennonites, as well as the Irish and English and that, which were more the elite at that time. So he had a very different uh, boyhood than anybody else in other communities. You have studied so much of this that I, I'm getting the impression that you have in your mind who Mackenzie King was. 
Yeah. And now you're auditioning. The search is on to find Mackenzie King for this production. Uh, you're looking for young male actors for this, first of all. Mm -hmm. And preferably from, this, from the area. I'd like to have someone that lives in this area. It would be nice uh, that the uh, cast, casting is almost pretty well complete. And if they don't come from this area, they have connections to this area, so which is nice too. So yeah, I'm looking for, for that age group. And, and they, have to, they have to go up against Detective Dixon at some point. He, I actually inserted him right at the beginning of the play, which I never expected to do. But I found that Uncle Dougal McDougal, the very following year, was put up on charges of disconding with funds from the county after 23 years since the county thing I went. Oh, oh good, there's Dixon, he's in here, we're checking this out. <laughs> and so the actor has, and you know Brian Otto, he's, he's, he's my detective, and he's an incredible actor and very powerful. And this young lad has to be able to have the acting chops to keep up with him. So. Perfect. The auditions are coming up Saturday, February the 18th. They will happen at Kitchener City Hall. For somebody, if they're interested, they want to find out more, they, they, they want to get involved in this, how do they go about doing that? Yeah, they go to the website, which is uh, uh, wordscribe.ca backslash secret at woodside, one word, dot html. And there's a button at the top before the, the information on the play that they can push and it takes them right to a place where they can register. There's uh, several different time slots, 15 minute time slots, we don't need much more. Uh, just bring their resume, bring their headshot, and uh, and actually uh, I heard that Detective Dixon's going to be there. Oh, so, really? so we better do some scenes from playing, you know. Well, and Detective Dixon, for anybody who saw At the Crossroads, will recognize him from there, only it's an earlier version of him. Well, and we are going to find out who will play the young actor coming up on Saturday, February the 18th. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you, Stephen. Okay. More daytime still to come, stay with us. This program